Welcome to today's Gospel reading and reflection by Kristen's Crosses for Tuesday, December 12th, 2023, the Feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, Father of mercies, who placed your people under the singular protection of your Son's Most Holy Mother, grant that all who invoke the Blessed Virgin of Guadalupe may seek with ever more lively faith the progress of peoples in the ways of justice and of peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from Luke, chapter 1, verses 26 through 38. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said, and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great, and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord Today's Gospel Reflection as we celebrate the Feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe, the Gospel from Luke resonates with profound significance for us because this passage recounts the Annunciation where the angel Gabriel visits Mary, announcing that she will bear a son. As we reflect on this moment, we're reminded of the humility and grace of Mary. Her response, I am the handmaid of the Lord, may it be done to me according to your word, really exemplifies a deep trust in God's plan. And just like Mary, we are often called to step into the unknown and trust in God's plan for us. Our Lady of Guadalupe, who is the patroness of the Americas, mirrors this trust and obedience. Her appearance to St. Juan Diego and the miraculous image that she left on his tilma speaks to us of God's love and care for each of us, especially the humble and the lowly. She brings a message of hope and compassion that echoes the words of the Magnificat where Mary proclaims God's preference for the lowly and the poor. In this Gospel reading, we also see the fulfillment of God's promise. Mary's yes opens the way for the coming of Christ our Savior. This Advent season, as we prepare to celebrate the birth of Jesus, let's reflect on our own responses to God's call. Are we ready to say yes to whatever God asks of us, trusting in His plan? As we honor Our Lady of Guadalupe, Let's seek her intercession in our lives with the same faith and courage that she showed. May her example inspire us to be bearers of Christ in our world, spreading his message of love, hope, and peace. 
And so today, let's pray to Our Lady of Guadalupe, asking for her guidance and intercession, and for the grace to respond for God's call with a heart full of faith and love. Our Lady of Guadalupe, pray for us. We invite you to continue praying with us. Please click on the video link for today's prayers. It includes today's rosary in a series of daily Catholic prayers.